Mark, Lord Roosterforth Bolton's third son, had been betrothed to Naria Harlaw, securing a marriage pact between Lord Roos and Lord Boromund Harlaw of the Iron Islands. But another, perhaps even more important betrothal, took place in 363 AC, between the fourth Bolton son, Benfred, and Princess Valise Ironwood of Dorne. Her father, the blind Lord Paramount of Dorne, Lewin Martel, had a keen interest in ousting the Tyrashi from Westeros, but until recently he did not have a daughter to marry to one of Roos's sons. Luckily, a marriage pact was concluded almost the moment Valise left her mother's womb. Lord Roos now enjoyed the support of two of the most powerful lords of Westeros, and he did not waste time. Sending a letter to Magella Targaryen, outlining his plans, she readily returned to the Dreadfort, and ravens were sent to Pike and Sunspear, requesting all Bolton allies to raise their banners as soon as they could. The seventh Archon had lost almost all of his troops in the bloody Lysini War, and Lord Roos would never get a better chance to press his daughter-in-law's claim. The Bolton War could begin. The brilliant Lady Mariah Bolton, steward of the Dreadfort, used all her administrative skills to fill the Bolton war chest, even knocking on the door of the Iron Bank. Othor Holt, Roos's master at arms, sent ravens to as many sail sail companies as he could find to gather ships for the invasion of Tyrosh. Lord Roos raised his banners and boarded his new fleet at Widow's Watch, setting sail for Tyrosh, where he was soon joined by the forces of Dorne and later the Iron Islands. Pretender Queen Magella Targaryen arrived with her husband Rickon Bolton on her dragon Firestorm, raising the morale of all of her loyal troops. Though little Tyrosh was captured, the walls of Tyrosh itself proved tough to break, and the Westerosi alliance wasn't interested in a prolonged siege. Instead, they moved on King's Landing. Much of the city had declared itself neutral in this fight, having no love for the Tyrosi. What was left of the Loyalist garrison soon surrendered when the Bolton fleet arrived, and the old Targaryen banners were raised over the city once more. In fact, most of the lords of Westeros had abandoned the Seventh Archon, declaring themselves neutral, with some even joining the Boltons in their war. In 366 AC, all Tyrashi loyalists on Westeros had been defeated, and with the Bolton army on his doorstep, Lord Magister Horaitos the seventh and last Archon of the Iron Throne, besieged on all sides, decided to surrender his claim to the Iron Throne. The Tyrashi Interregnum was over. Queen Magella's coronation in the set of Baelor, where her mother and grandfather had been crowned decades before, was the beginning of the Second Targaryen Restoration. But the coronation was rushed and the crown lands restless and unruly. The Faith Militant, recently restored in their rights to bear arms by the Seventh Archon, had risen up against him nonetheless, and now refused to lay down their arms before their new fire-worshipping queen. Lord Roos and his allies Lewin Martel and Boromund Harlaw had to keep their armies in the field for months, fighting battles all around the Crown Lands, before the Faith's rebellion was put down. The comparison to Magella's ancestor Magor the Cruel was easily made, and this did not bode well for the young queen. Still, with the defeat of the Faith Militant Uprising, Lord Roos and his allies returned home. The lords of the Westerlands, the Trident and Dorne, who had for so long enjoyed de facto independence, nevertheless immediately swore their fealty to the new Targaryen queen, hoping to thus form a front against any other who would be invaders. Magella made use of this loyalty to help out the battered Stormlands, which had been pillaged by slave raiders for many years, becoming a desolated no man's land. She meant to reclaim the errant kingdom, and would probably not stop there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to JJL Gaming, and welcome back to your boy, Lord Roos IV, who has a lot of titles <laughs> at this moment. Yes, we are the father now to not one, but two kings. Of course, we already had King Donal, King Donal the Elegant of the North, was already our, sir, our, our son and the, uh, the king in the North. But since last episode, we have gained another royal son, the King Consort of the Iron Throne, King uh, Rickon Bolton. 
who is married to Magella Targaryen. Yes. So uh, before we get started, uh, I, I guess you guys liked <laughs> like Targaryens because <laughs> one of the episodes, uh, like two episodes ago, that video got like twice the views of all my other videos. So I don't know what exactly what happened. I guess maybe something in the algorithm. I guess people are searching for Targaryen more nowadays. So uh, I, had, I had Targaryen in one of my video titles and that video <laughs> got like 1500 views. But in general, it's been pretty great to see how consistent you guys are. You know, if, if I compare it to the... Uh, to the uh, the Young Stack series, the, the the Renly series, by episode 15, I was down to like 400 views on that one. Even though you know the first episode of that one has a lot more views still than the first episode of the Bolton one. So I guess you guys really enjoy the series, which is always good to see. I've been getting a lot of positive comments from you guys as well, which uh, which has been really helping me out. But enough about that. You guys are here to watch Game of Thrones. You're not here to <laughs> hear me talk about YouTube or whatever. <laughs> but uh, let's go. Okay, so we have uh, our boys, Donal. Rickon, and we have of course Mark Bolton, who is married to Maria of the Iron Islands, and we have Benford, who is married to Felice Ironwood of Dorne. Uh, both uh, have, are very good alliances. But uh, it's time to get back to the Dreadfort, and I think it's time to lick our wounds a little bit. We have a big loan from the Iron Bank, which we want to repay. We also have a uh, ambition to gain a war chest, so I think we're going to be focusing on on money for uh, for the for the next uh, next for the foreseeable future. In fact, uh, we might want to switch to business focus. I can't do that quite yet. Okay, in a year and a half or so. All right, people owe us favors. Jeter Targaryen and Donald Bolton, <laughs> the two most powerful people in Westeros, probably owe us a favor. So that's always good. Um, and also, uh, oh yeah, uh, before uh, I get started, I uh, moved Bonifer Messi to our court. My uh, my childhood friend, he is now our maester, because he was at the court of his his brother. So I was going uh, I was going to say, oh, let's just uh, keep him at that court, you know, keep him at the, at his, uh, his ancestral home. But then I noticed that this guy has a different maester. <laughs> He's got Rupert as a maester, so he, he didn't even appoint his brother as maester, even though his brother finished his training at the Citadel. So I, I thought that was kind of uh, kind of ungrateful. So we're gonna. We, we gave uh, Bonifer Messi the title, which is in fact better than our old maester. So it's good to have our childhood friend to, us, to, uh, to uh, assist us and uh, aid us in, uh, in continuing to rule the Bolton realm. The other members of our council are also very familiar to us. We have John Piper, who is married to Mariah Bolton, our half-sister and, uh, and treasurer. We have Lady Alison, who is our wife. We have Hothor Holt, who is our sort of blood brother, the uh, most powerful fighter in the north, probably, whom we fought on many occasions. Only this man we don't really know, Hallett. But, uh, you know, maybe it's good that you don't know your spy master too closely. And the priest also don't know, but I don't really care about him. All right, let's go. Ooh, damn. <laughs> it was no console cheating, guys. This is the last claim we need. But she was little sister. And now we have... Strong claim on Sunderland, sweet sister, long sister, and little sister. So those are all the sisters. I think uh, we, we we're gonna we're gonna grab the whole island group in one go uh, soon. But first, let's uh, let's make some money. Uh, we can uh, offer somebody uh, up to be our bodyguard again. I wonder who that is. Helman of Wolf's Den. He's a great guy. He's a uh, he's a guy uh, a guy uh, a guy to my heart. Is that is that an English expression? That's a Dutch expression. You say. This guy is naar mijn hart, which means to my heart. I don't know if that's English, but it, it just means that uh, we, we, it's a guy like us. It's a guy we like. He's kind, he's diligent, he's uh, arbitrary. We, we are kind of arbitrary as well. Yeah, we need our vessels at the moment. Oh, Lord Roos, the Romans in a state of war. And as such, I, your liege king, commanded you provide men to support my armies. Uh, yeah. Uh, what, what, what kind of war is it? The Trident. King Donald's claim on the twins war. Yep, we're going to support the throne, obviously. We like Donald. I guess, oh yeah, of, of, uh, last episode, we saw that uh, the new Queen of the Iron Throne, Mar Magella the Usurper, declared war on the Stormlands. So that's probably why we can now declare war on the Twins. And I think she might win. But uh, let's uh, let's give it a few moments. Because the Stormlands, like I mentioned in my recap, has been just ravished. Ravished by uh, by war. Arian Durandon has, uh, has been capturing everything here. I guess he is... Um, Okay, the open hand of the stone. Is, is, is he fighting? Uh, yeah, a claim on the Stormlands War. Okay, okay. But uh, I, like for years, the Stormlands has been just fully occupied. Only the Reach has been quite uh, 
quite serene, all things considered. We've got Imri Florent, who's ruled it for two years now. Then we had a bunch of other people. The Tyrells have not been ruling for a good 20 years. But the, the amount of uh, of revolts and stuff in the region has been uh, quite limited. So I think they are probably... It's probably the best place to live uh, <laughs> right now. Another mere slave raid. Okay. You became intimidating, I just saw quickly. Where is that? Intimidating. Minus two revolt risk. Makes sense, I guess. Lord Stennis has offered somebody up to the, <laughs> to the Iron Throne again. Oh, uh, Donald Bolton became unlanded. Donald Bolton became unlanded? What? What? I guess it was a faction revolt or something? Really? I guess he must have accepted uh, like a faction revolt demand or something. Okay, so King Theon the Second is now Lord of the of the of the North. Oh, we are Regent though. We're Regent again of the North. I mean, okay, fine. I guess Donal. I don't know why you were you were deposed, my man. You want to join my court? You do. Okay, great. Well, you can join my court then. I guess I don't know what happened, son. The King in the North. The King in the North. Yes. You guys better not revolt against Theon. Because he is now backed by the most powerful lord in the kingdom. I'll go and prove my strength. I mean, how can we say no, right? I accept your invitation and join your court forthwith. Okay, we, we have the former king of Winterfell. But what happened there? Let's have a look. Inherited. inherited. Hmm. I guess he was deposed somehow. I don't know who deposed him. Oh well, <laughs> what, what can we do? It says Retina had Lightbringer removed from the treasury. Oh, he, he died finally. At 103 uh, under suspicious circumstances. <laughs> he didn't even die a natural death at an, age 103. <laughs> he died under suspicious circumstances. Okay, so Stannis is dead, guys. He might be resurrected, though. Alliance between Lord the Bruce the Fourth and Queen Michelle has broken down. Why? Why is our alliance broken down from Alliance? Something is fishy here. Accept your proposal for an eyes. Okay, that's good at least. At the court in Bramsford, yep. This, I think something is going on here. <laughs> well, uh, we'll see. I did do some uh, some console uh, cheating behind uh, the behind uh, behind the scenes to get uh, one of her Messi to join us. So maybe that that screwed something up. It's all over now. I accept back your feet. It's been a while since we do, since we done since we've done a melee, and I think we still got it. We're still pretty pretty powerful. We lost some of our. Uh, our fat, so that uh, that improved our uh, combat skill a bit. Next, Don or Fen, I will defeat him. Yep, we defeated him. Don or Fen. Okay, next, Hold or Holt. Ah, my uh, my master at arms. I'm gonna fight him. I think he's already a bit wounded. Oh, he's old age. He's he's 50 years old. We are still 42. So we're a bit younger than him. He's uh, beginning to feel his age. See if we can defeat him. We fought him many times. He's our old blood brother. So I think uh, you know. We might want to. Uh, we, we might defeat him this time. Defend yourself. Oh no! But Hotor overwhelms my defense and moves to elegantly smack his long sword into the side of my head. I look up at him, towering above me, ready to deliver the finishing blow. Um, should we dodge? You yeah, can dodge once, right? You don't get another chance. Let's try again. I quickly avoid, avoided his forceful attacks. It's all over now. Oh, he rolled over uh, as well. Okay, okay. So this is a, a pretty big fight. Quickly avoided his forceful attacks. It's all over now. Yep, oh, we defeated him. Okay, great. Great, great, great. Victory is mine. You know the risks. I no longer feel fear. I, 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 gained, I gained the trade brave. That's good. That gives me even more personal combat skill. Okay, so we are back in our prime, it seems. We've been doing some training. We've been, Of course, we've, we've fought a long war against the Iron Throne, so I guess it makes sense that we uh, we have improved our, our fighting skill a bit. Hellman. Hellman, we, we can defeat him, I think. I feel like I could lift a small house in fit condition. Okay, great. Two, two health again. 110 personal combat skill, damn. And that's with the black eye, so that's, that's 120. So we are better than we, we, we've ever been. One mistake is all they'll get. Strike. Oh, we killed him. <laughs> Helmut tries to fight back. I force my way through, easily overpowering his pathetic defense. I strike at him with all my might. But despite the friendly nature of the duel, I'm too forceful and whack my skull smasher into his leg, fatally wounding him. Damn, and yeah, I must have smacked him <laughs> really, really hard <laughs> if I'm fatally wounding him. 
by hitting a mace to his to his leg. That <laughs> I must have sort of smashed his leg off or something. Okay, well he knew the risk. Fala Mogulis. I'm sorry, my man. I wasn't uh, trying to to kill you. Agzi Agazun. Okay, he knew the risks. Yep. Should be easily able to uh, to defeat this guy, right? Why don't you just give up? Oh, you got a dagger. I will aim for his wound. It's all over now. Accept. Victory's mine. You know the risks. Glory to me, 25 gold. Oh, we won the melee of 83, 67. I do still think it's very weird what happened to my my son, Donald. I don't know why he's not the king. Luckily, we still have a Bolton in charge, though. We are still regent, even. But that's still that's still weird, right? What do you guys think? I don't, I don't, I don't, I think it's probably affection demand, but I cannot really find it. I cannot really find what happened. Can we repay the Iron Bank? Not at 86. Okay, let's wait. Oh, don't be too hard on yourself, my good man. Oh, Thor Holt. Yeah, yeah, we, we love him, right? I thought he was already my friend. Master Benji God's melee is finally over. Thanks, Benji God. You're probably the second most powerful guy in the North, actually. Looking at it. Me and then Melodorf Last Heart. Owen. No, no, he's not. He's, he's all the way down here. We are still by far the most powerful, though. And once we have paid off our loan and uh, made some money, we will become even more powerful because we will go after the three sisters. <laughs> I owe her nothing. Now we, we can we can give my wife something, right? Leo Enable Servant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I will honor her with a Bolton heirloom. Now we, we will give her some money. That's fine. My wife has been a loyal servant. When is my loan expiring? Maybe that wasn't smart. Twelfth moon. Ah, in a year. Okay, I think we should be fine. Winter is coming again. Okay. Oh, that's that's another thing. There we go. Yeah, I um. Oh, car info. I made a nickname for Magella Targaryen, the Spring Queen, because she uh, rebel leader. What? Oh, come on, game! Don't do this to me! <laughs> Don't do this to me! <laughs> Don't break on me now, man! <laughs> I gave her the name the Spring Queen because uh, she came. We, 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 if you guys remember when we started the war, the winter ended. It was one of the harshest winters in in generations. So we we gave her the name the Spring Queen, which I think is quite fitting. The Spring Queen, Magella the Spring Queen. Donald the elegant doesn't hold any land. I mean, screw you, Donald. We gave you a kingdom, man. Don't start complaining now. Uh, well, my game just crashed. <laughs> I, I reloaded it uh, just now, a few months before. So <laughs> I hope it uh, stabilizes now that we've restarted the game. I would be pretty pissed off if that uh, <laughs> if the game would end uh, now that we're so close to uh, to holding the Iron Throne. Dear father-in-law, blessings, blessings upon you and your house. We request that you honor your obligation as this cold war against Storm King. Molden the fifth of the Stormlands and Pirate Lord Jakaro of the Golden Fields. Primogenitus Conquest of the Golden Fields. Where's that? What? What are you, <laughs> what, is, what, what are you doing? <laughs> why why are you attacking the Golden Fields? I mean fine, we will help, I guess. But she did always almost win in the Stormlands. Still don't understand why she Oh! Mariah died. Died of depression. Ah, that's so sad. Age 33. That's ominous. I'm 33. <laughs> okay. My half-sister is dead, guys. Mariah Bolton. I thought she would have a long life of service ahead of her, but I guess not. I guess not. Yeah, we will give her a grand funeral, right? Just the Bolton family will be invited. All the court of Dreadfort. Yeah, we will invite the court and the family. That's fine. Let's, uh, let's find another treasure, though. Robert... Sir of Fleischer's Keep. Now let's see if we can find somebody else. Okay, we find this man. Torgan. Authoritative, just, ambitious and diligent. Sounds like a perfect treasure. Let's put him in charge. We will have him uh, collect taxes because uh, we need the money to pay off our loan to the Iron Bank. Which, I mean, we, we've, we've been spending some money on the feast, so I think it's probably not... Ugh, King Theon, man, we just invited you. Okay, fine. Robert the Fleischer's Keep. I don't know what's going on in this game. It's, it's been really annoying. A lot of uh, a lot of weird crashes and stuff. Okay, John Piper, you can be my uh, my designated regent. That's fine. We like him. We are doing the funeral feast for uh, Mariah Bolton. 
There we go, and so it is done. Mariah Bolton died of depression. She was a woman with little likes or dislikes. We just lived each day as, as it came. I mean, she was depressed. <laughs> That's not really a nice thing to say about a depressed lady. Okay, I, th I do think that my... Uh, my daughter-in-law is almost won in Stormlands, so that's good. And she can fight her other stupid war on uh, on Essos. <laughs> After a series of meetings, King Theon's council has agreed to wage war on the King of the Trident. All that is needed is to grant approval on the King's behalf. No, I veto this war of folly. The war ends. Yeah, I don't want to go to war with the Trident right now. Let's uh, let's keep that under the other Boltons. Team of Yellowfire and Throne won the war against the Stormlands. That's good. So she will keep Lord Paramount Molden Durandon as the uh, Lord Paramount, I suppose. Now she just has to fight the other stupid war <laughs> over here against this random, random duchy. Golden Bridge, is it really random? Or does she have a family with this? Does she have a, a beef with this man? I mean, she could. We, we, we picked her up in Kohor, right? Is it just a conquest war? What is it? Conquest of the Golden Fields. She might have some some history with this man. Because uh, we, if you guys remember, we, we picked her up at the the court of the Lord Magister of Kohor. Maybe 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 this this man slighted her or something in, in her youth. Could be. An envoy of the bank has arrived in the Zed Fort. He's seeking repayment for the loan I have with the bank. I have the coin right here. There we go, we repaid our loan. Every night since he was given it, my grandson Aegon has been sleeping with his dragon egg. But it has remained cold. As the months slip by, we have given up hope of it hatching anytime soon. This must be a bad omen. Now oh, Aegon Bolton has, has no dragon yet. Is he at my court then? He's in the Dread Fort, yeah. That's odd. Why is he not? Uh, why is he not at, uh, at the Iron Throne? Oh well, we will raise him ourselves, I guess. Aegon of the Iron Throne. This man is going to be king someday if all goes well. We also kind of want to. Can we do that? Can we be the guardian of Theon? Well, I think we already are. Sign guardian. Me. Educator. Yeah, let's do it. Yep, okay, so we are, again, educating two future kings. But these are my grandsons instead of my sons. <laughs> it's pretty strange that we're already, we already have so many grandchildren at age 41. <laughs> we already have uh, three grandchildren. I mean, it's the Middle Ages, right? Okay, Queen Magella won her strange war against the pirate lord of the Golden Fields. I don't know why she fought that. Does he maybe hold somewhere in the Stepstones? Golden Bridge. No, he doesn't. We really don't know why she decided to conquer this random man. But okay, it's fine, I guess. Is she at peace now, then? Finally? Yep, she is. Okay, so are the kingdoms going to move back under her? Yes. <gasps> Look at this, guys. <laughs> Iron Throne has not been this strong for many, 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 many years. So I think uh, maybe the next, next uh, step will be to conquer the Reach or the Vale. Maybe uh, Magella wants to... Uh, have some peace and quiet for herself now, though. Oh, she's already back at war. <laughs> Magellan's conquest of the Reach. <laughs> she's, she's, she's not, she's not to giving herself any breaks, is she? <laughs> she just conquered the Stormlands, and now she's she, she's back to conquer the Reach. I'm not lustful anymore. I mean, it makes sense. We're 44. King Harold of Mountain of Vale has declared Vilman the Iron Throne War of Emancipation. Wait. Is the uh, do we have do, do we have slavery in the Iron Throne? Uh, maybe because uh, Tyrosh installed it. Okay. I mean, I don't think it's very smart what you're doing right now, King Harold. But oh well. I mean, even if he wins, he will just we will just have emancipation. So I don't care. I don't think Michelle cares either. Okay, she wants us to join to join the war. Fine. Although I guess that means that we will be at truce with this guy, which would suck a bit. So we want to uh, we want to attack him later. But I think uh, these guys can handle it for themselves. Oh well, we might we might as well join with some troops. 
can join. We have, can have our vessels uh, do uh, do something here. Yeah, we are marching south with a small army. We might want to raise some more, maybe. No, nah, no, that's it's fine like this. Could raise our mercenary band, I guess. That's uh, yeah, Ricard Bolton. Nah, that's a waste of money. We're just helping out uh, the Iron Throne a little bit. Where are all our allies? I guess they're down here in uh, in the Reach. But Roderick Westfield's position in the Reach is council, yada yada yada. Yeah, let's try to remove him. He's a, he's a, he's a very strong spy master. Yeah, he's removed. Okay, great. <laughs> we don't want a very strong spy master on the on the uh, on the council because he can make it very difficult for me. Ah, the marriage between Naria of the Iron Islands and my son Mark going through. Very good. Um, do we want to ask him for a dowry? Yeah, I think so. Does he have a lot of money? I mean, he's an Iron Islander, right? He's under siege by... Oh, the Reach, I guess. Not very smart. He doesn't have a lot of money. Yeah, let's let's ask him anyway. The customary dowry. 200 gold. Okay, good. Nice. That's a lot of money. Let's move south to try to help out uh, our ally. Down in the Reach. And hope she will come back north. War of War, Vestalander Independence. Man, Michelle is not doing very well. <laughs> she's, uh, she's really... Uh, She's really got a lot, lot, of, lot of wars against her. I mean, she shouldn't just declare war on everybody immediately. So it was a bit stupid of her. This war is a necessary one, but my heart is aching worse than any uh, any wounds the war might inflict upon me. Simply being separated from my love. Ah, that's so cute. I resist temptation. Yes. Gain the trade zealous. Move south further. Move to King's Landing. And then move to high uh, high garden. So I mean, oh, if we can if we can end that war quickly, then uh, then uh, Magella can deal with the other wars that are go ongoing for her right now. Okay, we're moving down to down to down to high garden. See if uh, if we can uh, if we can help out uh, Queen Magella, the Spring Queen. Let's attach to her army. Oh yeah, Lord, my lord, we have taken high garden, but King Henry Florent is not here. I've suddenly put in the dungeon, and I don't know why I can decide about that. Or I don't know why that Magella is not doing that, but okay, fine. Uh, we will put everybody in house arrest. That will help uh, win the war, I hope. 69%, yeah. Holds Eldara Florent prisoner. Yep. Oh, we are attached to the, the army of the Iron Islands. I want to be attached to, uh, to, 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 the, to the, the Queen's army. Oh, she's already storming the rest of High Garden, I guess. 71%. Oh. Okay, we're moving to King's Landing first. I think it's smarter to just finish this war first, Magella, but you know. Who am I to judge? Oh no, she's besieging some place. I think. Is she? Who will personally. Oh, no, I'm, I'm leading troops first. Magella, then. Where are you, my, uh, my woman? Leading troops in Roseford. Oh, that is down here. But I guess I'm leading the the army. Yeah. And now known as the Bold. I mean, that's fair. <laughs> I'm a pretty brave guy. I do say so myself. Minus 81% for the Emancipation War. I mean, that's fine. We can lose that. Oh, we can uh, we can give a focus to Aegon. I think we will go for Struggle. Because that is the one that Roos is best at. Let's give him... Uh, can we force him to train? Or not yet? No, I guess not. Offer non-aggression pact. Oh, this is King Theon. You can offer him a non-aggression pact, yeah. But maybe not. I, I, I wanted to look at Aegon. Can we force you to train? Not quite. He needs to be eight years old. Okay. I don't, I don't exactly know why he's here. I guess maybe uh, he was still here from before. I don't know. I mean, I think it's pretty cool that uh, they uh, they have me train uh, train their son. I mean, I, I think it makes some sense at least. They want him to be a good warrior. Okay, we conquered Roseford, moving up north to hopefully stop Lord of Ville, I guess. And we got a crash. We got another crash. Yep. Fuck. <laughs> oh man. 
Ah, per se, Gon became a poor fighter. Very good. Very good, my man. Already a poor fighter with age six. I mean, he's got a he's got a good trainer. We're one of the best fighters in the land. Yeah, she's also fighting the king, uh, the kingdom of the rock. But I guess we cannot ask her to join that war. Of which join boy? No, it's not here. I guess she needs to ask us. Okay, she's grabbing back all the lands from the Lannisters. I mean, I think you should focus on uh, on winning the war in the in the. Um, uh, the, the reach first. We've rounded up everybody we could find in Bramsford. Okay, we're gonna release a bunch of people. Who are these? Firestorm, okay. Liberated. I guess uh, we liberated somebody. Okay. Oh, that's of course, this was the former court of uh, Magella. We might want to give her uh, King's Landing later, actually. Miss Aegon gained two diplomacy and a trade patient. That's great, actually. Thanks, uh, Bonifer, Mes Bonifer Messi. That's a good... Uh, that is some good kingly traits. Accepted uh, King Harold of Mountain of Hills Peace of Right. I guess she lost that. Probably. Oh, she's imprisoned. My Lord Lester the Hunter of the Crag. Wow. Okay. So that means that the rock is independent, I guess. 100% in favor. Yeah. Yep. 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 She lost the Emancipation War. Now she's going to lose. Yeah. She's going to lose the, uh, <laughs> the other war. Oh, my son is in. In prison as well. Can we can we plot to rescue her? We can plot to kill her, <laughs> but not rescue her, I guess. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> so she's in the dungeons of uh, of the the the, the Westerlings, the Westerlands. Okay. Hmm. What happens to her third war? She's gonna win that still, maybe. I think um, Iron King is joining her in that. No, no, she's not. You know, this is the retaliation war. This is a different war against the Reach. It's not the war. Of the Iron Throne against the Reach. How's that been going, though? Conquest of the Reach, 63% still. But she didn't ask us to join that, so... Offer to join war. Okay, I guess we can join that. Ah, we, we will join if she asks. Your son, Rickon Bolton, is currently languishing in the prisons of Lord Lester Westerling. Perhaps I should offer to pay the ransom to secure his release. 110 gold, damn. I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna offer. Thank you. Once the gold has been received, I release the prisoner... As soon as possible, thanks. So my, my, my son is free, at least. For what that's worth. I would prefer to also uh, have my, uh, my my daughter-in-law free. I guess there's nobody uh, at court that uh, wants to help me liberate her. Nemone, Nemone, Florent. What are you doing here? Oh, we have her in prison. Okay, okay. We, we, can, we can ransom her, actually. Ah, we built a war chest. 500 gold. That's good. Um, gain honorary title. I think we can just give ourselves honorary titles, right? Oh well. Just focus duty. Well, why? Who picked that for him? Certainly wasn't me. Oh well. We forced you to train already? No, not yet. Um, I have five children. Yeah, sure, why not? I try to have another kid with our wife. Now oh, she's 47. That's not, that's not going to happen. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, my God. Welp. Okay, I'm going to try one more time, guys. If it crashes again, I think that's going to be the end of the series. Oh, there's a civil, a civil war to lower crown authority going on in the Kingdom of Mountain. I think we might want to take advantage of this opportunity, actually. Uh, because we have a bunch of claims on the Three Sisters, if you guys remember that. Shouldn't, uh, shouldn't neglect our own claims here. Shouldn't just, uh, just, just press the claims of, uh, of our daughter-in-law. Yeah, let's, let, uh, let, let, let's do it. Well, let's add some rally points. I think we might end the episode on that, actually. Let's declare war. To press... All these claims. Do we only have three claims? We had, we had four claims, right? One, two, three, four. Okay, well, let, let's see what happens, I guess. But can we not... Is one guy... Oh, this, this guy's independent, it seems. Can we not declare war on him? Independent. Is he not independent? 
I lost you of runestone. Okay, okay, so we have to declare war on this man as well. Claim long sister. And claim the other three claims we have here. Press all claims, yes. We're gonna capture all of these islands. We'll just call in all of our all of our allies, why not? No, maybe not. Uh, we will not call in uh, our queen, I think, because she's got other, other stuff on her mind. Being imprisoned and all. Oh, she got another kid, Prince Aaron, my grandson. Can we can we ransom this kid? I guess not. We still have Aegon Bolton, though. Our, our heir. So if we ever... if, if Even if Magella loses the throne, which, you know, she might. <laughs> it's still not the end of the world. Okay, so we declared war on a bunch of people. Let's raise our armies. Army levies. Everybody, please join me. We will also need some more boats, but we already know now, not by now that boats are fairly easy to get and not even that expensive. So let's hire as many as we can. Mm, one more, I think. Oh. Where are they? Here, 75. And move to White Harbor with, the, with our troops. And try to capture the the sweet uh, the, the three sisters. Ha, the Prince of Dorne is joining me. The Iron are joining me. And I hope the game doesn't crash. <laughs> it's really annoying. <laughs> I'm really hoping that we can keep playing. Because I'm, I'm quite enjoying this series. But if it's, if it's gonna, co gonna continue crashing like uh, like it has been, then that's it for me. <laughs> I don't really want to deal with that frustration. Oh, you're doing a you're doing a bold move here, Runestone. You're immediately attacking my my land. Bold, bold of you. I think uh, your army is too small to pose a real threat to me. Let's move down to the three sisters and attack, besiege the, the land. You know, that crown of York added to the treasury. All right. Yep. 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 What about our, our daughter-in-law? Though she's still imprisoned, huh? She's still fighting in the reach, and she's not even losing really. Although I think she might, uh, she might want to offer a white piece there. Okay, we're besieging Breakwater. Let's uh, let's see if we can capture the, the sisters here. We need a kind of a guy who is a siege leader, right? Here's one, Helman. You can join uh, join my army, man. After a series of meetings, King Theon's after a series of meetings, King Theon's council has agreed to wage war on the King of the Trident. Okay, fine. If you really want to, then go ahead. I'm not really gonna help out though. I have my other, my other uh, I have other stuff going on right now. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Lord of Roostone is actually a lot stronger than I thought. <laughs> He's got nine thousand soldiers here besieging my land. I didn't even really notice that. Okay, we're gonna have to do something about that. We might have to hire some mercenaries, actually. Okay, well, I think we're gonna leave that for next episode. It's been a bit messy. The game has been crashing a couple of times, so I hope that wasn't too noticeable. Uh, if it was, I'm sorry. It's not really much I can do. It's also been a bit messy just because of the actions of uh, Queen Magella, who's just been attacking everybody she saw, and maybe she's been she's overreached a bit here. She's already been imprisoned by uh, a Lannister. He's in the dungeon of a Lannister, Lord Lester. Uh, but her son and heir, Prince Aegon, is my my grandson, and we are raising him ourselves. In fact, we might want to take him as a squire, yeah, and force to train him if we can. We can't, I guess. Now we need to. We cannot be a commander. Okay. So let's see how the situation develops over here in the south. I think. Uh, well, if anything, she's been um, she's been ambitious. She's, oh, she's actually winning. Damn. Oh yeah, the 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 armies of Dorne and some other armies are actually joining her. So, you know, if if Lord Lester Westerling uh, decides to uh, allow her to live, then she might uh, be a good queen yet. In the meantime, we are also struggling to fight our uh, our own wars here uh, because we are trying to capture the three sisters. Let's see how that goes in the next episode. And let's hope, uh, you know, uh, there won't be too many crashes in the next episode. <laughs> so Because I probably have to cut like 20 minutes from uh, this recording just because of all the crashes and all the the slowness so uh, you know let's uh, let's see how that goes in the next episode so you know do do good do remember to subscribe uh, it's it's been really nice seeing this series blow series blow up um it's really been getting uh, consistently high views so i'm very happy with that uh, thank you guys for watching and see you next episode bye bye